What's up, YouTube? Over here in Chatsworth at Wheels of Motion for a Yamaha demo ride. I don't know if you guys seen my other videos where I did the Suzuki demo ride. So now I'm going to test out the FZ09 today. This one's in the yellow. So that should be pretty fun. There's a nice blue. Hmm, my bike's already on. So, bike's already on, and put keep it in standard mode. It does have A mode, which is more of a race type mode. Oh shit, it's a little sensitive on the brakes here. Okay. I got this. I uh, see. It's a little taller than my Gladius. Just a little. Uh, let's see. So yeah, um, the tachometer is pretty interesting. The, the way they have it positioned. Too bad, so about to take off. So you really have to release that, uh, release the clutch in order for the it's a change gear. The brakes are really sensitive. That's good. Really smooth throttle response, and this is in standard mode. Maybe later on in the ride, I'll put it over. Wow, really nice brakes. Yeah, really, really nice brakes. So this is um, midweight super. Well, I don't know if you considered the FZ09 a midweight. Now the FZ07 probably would have been more of a middle class. I uh, definitely shouldn't have shifted into second there. Hmm. So this red line's at 11,000 RPMs, so I could probably push this. Really smooth engine response. I mean, throttle response, what am I saying? So hopefully we do get into the highway so I can see how smooth it shifts up in higher gears. Yeah, I wouldn't even call this a review. Uh, this is just me having fun. Someone says, hey, let's go test out bikes. Sign me up. Well, so I came with my girlfriend. Unfortunately, she was um, not able to make this ride. I think she's going to be on the 10 o'clock ride. And 
Okay, keeping it smooth here. Uh, yeah, like I said, so the instrument panel here has, it's all digital. Yeah, everything is completely digital. Different modes. Um, fuel gauge, which is nice. Gear indicator. What else? I'm trying to look down at the same time. Time. Hey, it has a time. Yeah, overall the the bike looks amazing. Um, feels great. I really don't like the look of this. Uh, but that's just personal preference. But that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, so the, hmm, the response is really nice. Well, maybe at the next stop I'll put it into B mode, which is the what is it called? Like rain mode. So if you're riding a uh, riding in rain, uh, slick, or gravel. It uh, gives you better traction. I do want to push it all the way up. Hopefully I did turn on my camera. That would have sucked if I didn't. But I don't think you'd be able to hear it otherwise. I so it wouldn't make a difference. Cool, I'll hop onto the highway real quick. Nice little curve here. Yeah, you know, I was a little wide on my turn there. So really smooth in that turn. Like I said, the throttle keeping it standard is pretty good. Yeah. I'd have to double check the exact CCs on this. Um, but otherwise, this is a I don't call this like the leader bike, obviously. It's like, I think it's 898 cc's. Uh, yeah, nice day to be riding someone else's bike. I want to see how many I can try out. I think the next one would be the Bolt R spec. Look pretty nice out there. So, let me see if I can do that one. So acceleration is pretty nice. Um, I know that, well in my, on my Gladius, in like second gear, first and second gear, um, you have to be really careful on the throttle because it does get choppy. 
I mean, not terrible, but it's not as smooth as this, like this one. These brakes, though. Well, I don't know what that was. But yeah, it's just this whole you have to let out the throttle completely. I mean, the clutch. No, almost no friction zone, well, at least on this one. Nice windy turns here. if my girlfriend's gonna be able to do this on her ride. She hasn't yet. But these aren't super twisty. So it shouldn't be too bad. But she just hasn't done this kind of turn. But the good thing is that they tell you to ride within your limit and everyone knows their limits so if she has to slow down she'll just have to stay in the back and tell the guy that she's going to take it a little slower. Yeah, like I said, this isn't a full review, this is just me having fun on a bike. I'm no expert on bikes or how I should be riding. But, but it's pretty fun to be out here. Yeah, since I'm only here in the, we're only in the twisties kind of here, I'm not going too fast. Second gear has plenty of power all the way up. Uh, I would say two red line, but I haven't even taken it up to red line.
Hmm. Uh, I would put it into A mode, which is the race mode, but that was already good enough as it is. I don't know how more responsive you can get. Hmm. We do have emergency lights. So that's cool. I forgot what else can check out. The engine sounds pretty nice. You know what, but fuck it, what the hell. I'll put it into A mode. At this light. see how that goes. But yeah, these brakes are super sensitive. So, let's see. This is A mode. So what it does is that it makes the throttle a lot more sensitive. And it gives you like the full power essentially of the bike. Yeah, so you can definitely feel it. I don't know if it's dramatic increase, but but this is pretty cool. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit more sensitive. Um, I'd have to switch back and forth between them to really compare it. Overall, it's seems to do what it's supposed to. Trying to see if it has smooth power. Yep. All the way up to probably to its peak. It's pretty nice. Smooth handling. I heard the suspensions are horrible from all the reviews that that I've seen on the FZ 07 and 09. That the uh, suspensions is horrible, but um, you can tune them, of course. And we've gone over a few bumps and stuff like that right now. So it hasn't been bad. It's a pretty good bike. Oh yeah, the throttle is a little bit more responsive. I barely let it go a little and it tries to slow down uh, a lot. Still recording. Yeah, cool. I 
interesting on the turn signal when I turn on my left or right turn signal there's a turn signal indicator as you can see down here but it doesn't tell me which one I mean this is not bad but I know on the CBR 300 and then on mine you either have left or right so you know but you still get a little green flashing Okay, put it back into, actually let's do B mode. This should slow down, sen uh, decrease the sensitivity of the throttle, and of course this is for gravel, rain, um, soft terrain, stuff like that. So it, this is just the kill switch pushing up, and to turn it on you just pull it down as opposed to like the push start, and you pull this red button down. My bag was already on when I got on it, so I didn't show you guys that. Key over here. There's nothing much to it. Passing light, just like on my Gladius. I think most of them are going to come standard with this now. A little passing light. Oh, the horn looks like it would be hard to reach down here. And the throttle now on B mode, I mean, it feels a little, um, I don't know what's the word, like springy. Oh wait, what is he doing? Are we turning or not turning? bouncy or like if it was made of jello that's I mean those are not scientific terms but that's what it feels like like it, it bounces back a little I think I like standard mode the best Viper. And back to standard mode. Looks like it's the end of our ride. 
Just a nice quick little ride. That was a cool ride. So, girlfriend's gonna try out the FZ07. And hopefully she likes it and does well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so the FZ09 was pretty nice. I did want to ride the Bolt R spec as well. But the FC09 was pretty nice.